So, you're planning on going out with your mates. John said he'll definitely be there. Amanda said it was more of a 50-50. The BBC have said it's a 30% chance of rain. You're starting to think it's a certainty that you'll just put your feet up and watch Strictly instead. So all this talk of 50-50s, certainties and chances brings us into the world of probabilities. A probability is the chance of something happening. Of course, in maths, we prefer to use the numbers to represent things instead of just saying something's likely or unlikely. This isn't just to keep maths teachers employed. If the BBC said it was unlikely to rain today, that's not as helpful as a percentage chance. After all, they could say a 1% chance or a 20% chance are both unlikely to happen, but you're 20 times more likely to get wet with the latter. So, how do we start to understand these probabilities? Well, the tool we use is called a probability scale. It's just a line that goes from impossible to certain. We write a zero at the impossible end for a 0% chance of that thing happening, and a one at the other end for a certainty of something happening. At that impossible end are things that can never, ever happen. Things like rolling a die and it landing on a corner, or Donald Trump taking up knitting. At the certain end, you have things which will definitely happen. These are things like the sun rising tomorrow, or a coin flip landing on one of its two sides. On this scale, we can place things based on their likelihood of occurring. So a coin flip will either come up heads or tails. That means that a given flip has two possible outcomes, heads and tails, and will only land on one of them. We usually write this as a 1 over 2, which is the same thing as saying a 50% chance. So, flipping a coin and getting heads goes right into the middle of our probability scale as an even chance. That means it's just as likely to happen as flipping and getting tails. It's worth noting if you combine the two probabilities of heads and tails, you're back to having a certainty. So, let's look at something slightly more complicated. Rolling dice, or specifically, a single die. Probably best not to complicate things with my Dungeons and Dragons dice. Let's, uh, let's stick to a nice, regular, six-sided die. So, we can roll a die and one of six different things can happen. We can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Those six possibilities mean that, unlike the coins, we only have a one in six chance of rolling any particular result. Just like the coins though, each of the rolls are just as likely to happen as the others, as long as we're not cheating. We can write this as a 1 over 6, which is the same as 16.7%. That goes on our prob probability scale about here. We can then use our scale to represent all sorts of things, from the likely to the very unlikely. We can even put things in which are staggeringly unlikely like winning the lottery. Something so unlikely at 1 in 13,983,816, it's effectively right there next to impossible. Someone is going to win it. But it's not going to be you. Or me. Guess I'm going to have to start saving up for that car. <laughs>